Greetings, viewers, and welcome to episode 38 of T Kush 35's Better Than Wolves playthrough. I come back to you after a bit of time off camera where I collected some dung from my doggy. So, what we're gonna do here is gather up all this food that I've been hoarding because I've been feeding uh, pigs and cows and, and then, uh, you know, slaughtering them because we will want that for the foods later. And we're just going to shove this all in there. And that'll be fine. I'll, I'll grab some actual food in a minute here. As soon as I have the inventory space. So we're going to throw in the leather and the dung. And we'll be good to go. So I've determined that I'm going to actually try to make a full set of tanned leather armor. Because that will give me the best chance of trying to keep alive. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Get this cooked up in a sort of slow way. Oh, foul food. Darn it. Must have missed. I don't know what I missed. Oh well. Well, nothing to do with it but throw it out, I think. Luckily, that did not use up any dung. So that's good. And whatever food that was, we can recover. In other news, the recovery with the chickens has been extremely slow. Uh, almost nil, in a way. Uh, I'll just show you some other stuff that I did while I was farming the dog poo. I made a little automated chicken feeder here. And this should actually be off, I think. There we go. Hmm. Somehow that step is stuck. How's the step stuck? Well, that's not good. Oh, because the seed's over there. Interesting. Anyway, this is a dispenser pointing down at a... There we go. At a pressure plate. <clears throat> and the it will spit out a seed at the flick of the button. And then when the pressure plate's on, it hits that redstone torch, which hits this redstone, which will activate it. So when a chicken feeds from the seed, it will trigger it to spit out another seed. So then this just works with any number of chickens. And it should, as soon as the chicken lays an egg and becomes hungry, it should just feed them again. It's not timer-based, and as you can see there, it does occasionally get stuck. But for the most part, it works. So that's good. And then down here, I just introduced some, see, and then I'll, since it's right up here, I'll accidentally gather up the seed eh, twice, <laughs> and it'll trigger it again, but you just throw them back in, and it's no big deal. I introduced some water to this system here, so I didn't have to worry about tending the millstone while it's processing, and I closed up the pooch in this little area down here. And these are grates so that food does not pass through, but dung does. This is how I've been collecting the dung. I should be able to see whether or not the doggo has pooed. It's not automated at all, so it's not the most efficient, but it'll get the job done. Scoured leather is cooked up. Oh, which it is. Excellent. So let's go ahead and snip snip. Uh, I think I only needed 12, sounds about right, to make armor. Oh yeah, this is going to be lovely, actually being decked out in some armor. I should also consider making an enchantment table. So, enchantment table I believe does take the book. Yeah, it does take a book. No gold though, but... Unfortunately, without feathers, I don't really have a way to make this. So we're not going to be enchanting anything, which is fine. Just means we depart for the nether sooner anyway, which is probably better all around. We are finally making it, or heading over to the nether, so... I'm going to cut here when we're in the nether and ready to explore. See you then. And here we are, ready to rock'em sock'em robots. If I recall correctly, we have to head right over this way. Yeah, that's... Oops, sorry, one second. 
And we're back. Just had to take a phone call. Okay, so we got to get over there, which it looks like there might be a path through this netherrack here. So what I'm going to do is start... Oh, yeah, I was using netherrack as a roofing material. Uh, let's uh, just grab some of this here, and I'll, I'll replace all of that eventually. Oh, yeah, okay. Now this will be fine. This is all fine. Just don't want... Hey, is that a... Was that a blaze? That's a blaze. Do we even not have to go to the nether fortress? I still have to get up there. I could bust out of the ladder. Is that really worth it? I don't think it's worth it. So we'll just... We'll just keep with the plan. We'll have to get to the nether fortress at some point anyway. So... Nothing wrong with building up a nice, safe tunnel. Okay, so this is where it starts getting a little dicey. Uh, because, unfortunately, I suppose I could use the wood that I brought with. I did bring some wood. And is it flammable? Yes. But will it block ghasts from seeing us? Absolutely. It'll block it all the same, and those bricks, or blocks, we don't need to worry about falling, so. The biggest flaw in all this plan would be if this just gets suddenly exposed. Oh, yep, like that. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, here's where the fun part begins. So I guess the wood is kind of necessary here. While it is burnable, I need to build sides. I guess I didn't really think of that too much. So I might end up having to go to... Oh, well, the nether worker will work, too. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, at least I didn't waste a whole bunch of wood before that happened. Don't mind me, Mr. Gast. Is there a safer way I can do this? If I go up a little bit... Oh, awesome. Okay, this is getting somewhere. So now we just build our way back down. And the most difficult part... I think we'll be keeping it so that the gas still can't see us because this is totally exposed right now. Yeah, really exposed. We really don't want pigmen. Yeah, this is a really, really disgustingly exposed fortress section. But, what are we going to do, right? Okay, I just really need to not get hit by the... Really need to not hit the pigmen at all. So we're going <coughs> to make this area able to close off. And there is a blaze right there, but there's... Oh, gosh! Uh, very little chance that I will be able to actually get any drops that he throws at us. So I'm just going to keep blocking this all off. So that at least from the sides we aren't exposed. Or I'm not exposed. I don't know who this we is that I keep talking about. It's really just me, myself, and I here. Okay, so... This is not as good as it could be. There is more nether fortress that way, which is less exposed. Really, if I could get a hold of just this one blaze, that would be enough. But if I kill him, his drops are just going to fall down into the lava. Maybe my best bet was that other one that was by the... by the ladder. Sorry, I keep losing my train of thought as I'm trying to keep this safe. Or safe-ish. It's definitely not safe by any means. It's completely exposed. And my draw distance... Well, no, it's just... It's not lit, so I can't see very well. Okay, so that 
that falls to nothing, that goes to nothing. Looks like that section continues, so I'm going to head that way. See if we can find anything helpful. I guess, since I'm quickly running out of blocks, I'm just going to cover the one side. My biggest fear is wither skeletons popping out right now. It sounds like the ghasts that are around are not in. Oh, yep, speak of the devil. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and make a little roof so they can't pass. Okay. So he was right, yeah, he's right over there. I will have to say this is definitely one of the more exposed fortresses that I have been in for better than wolves. What was that? Oh, that was a magma slime. Okay, if we just block that, now that bad boy can't get through, which is perfect. Same with this direction, and we'll do it this direction as well. Okay. So that's good. It looks like we'll have plenty of places for wither skeletons to spawn when we when I'm trying to farm them, which is good news. I think I'm going to proceed without attempting to block things off right now, since that doesn't seem to be offering too much in the way of assistance. Okay, I can hear... Ooh, there's a blaze. As long as he doesn't... Oh! Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Oh god. Okay, come on. Alright, yes, 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 yes. Okay. So that's enough for two blaze powder. Do I just... Maybe I'll just dip. Because that can make two hibachis, and that's probably enough for now, right? Okay, and this is a spawner, which is in no way, shape, or form safe enough right now. Oh god. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Nelly. Okay, that was nice and close. Um and I'm probably too close. I'll just block that off. I need to get further from that spawner. Okay, and I can't see anything, so I'm going to block it off. And I'm just going to sit here uh, until I get healed in a way so that I'm not dying. Oh boy, that was, that was close. That was a risk that I should not have taken. But I think I killed it. And there's more blazes. Okay, yeah, uh, we're just going to leave. There's no way that... Oh gosh. Okay, cool. So... Sorry, clacked my tongue again. I don't know why I do that. It's a little tick I've developed while recording, apparently. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of blazes spawning over there. <clears throat> so I'm not going to worry about getting that other rod. This one rod will get us two powder, which is perfect. Uh, but I'm just going to sit here until I heal up, because I'm, not, I'm definitely not going anywhere until I have more health. So... I will be back when I am at the very least not uh, one of the injured statuses. So I'll see you then. Right. Okay, we sat here for a little bit. Uh, I killed that one weather skeleton that was posting himself out there. He came up to the door. And apparently I made myself plump by eating that other food, so that's fun. And now it looks like there's a wither skeleton in that other section that we, we were just at. So, of course, that's going to be an adventure to... Oh, there's two of them. Even better, he said, with lots of sarcasm. Um, the nightmare scenario would be that those bad boys shoot at us. Okay. Oh, and then 
There's, of course, a ghast over there. Which might break our little barricade. Oh, come here. Oh, he just fell. Okay. Um, I'm going to run for it. I'm plump, so I can't run that well, but uh, we're running as much as being plump can run. Oh, God. Yep. We saw it coming. Okay. Just don't shoot us again. Oh, all right. Made it. Whew. Intense stuff. All right. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, so did not get as many blaze rods as I was hoping to in that run, but to be honest, we escaped with our lives, which, uh, or I escaped with my life, which I wasn't quite expecting after getting set afire by that one particular blaze with his last shot. So I will take what I can get and get the heck out of dodge with our one prize. I'm also going to leave this stone sword here to despawn. So I will see you all back at the base. Ta-ta. Okay, here we are back at the base with our one prize. Granted, we, I also got some nether quirks, which is good. I uh, used more. I gained a little bit of netherrack, so that's nice. It's not the best case scenario, but it's not the worst either. So just meander around down here. And no. Am I just forgetting? Yeah, okay. I was just forgetting. Silly me, silly me. Thought you had to grind it for some reason. Been a while since I've been at this stage. But, so there's filament. We don't want filament. We want redstone. All right, this should be the element which will let us make the hibachi. I'm so excited. We're gonna have renewable. Oh, I just realized I still need to. Uh... Okay, so that was that was the recipe I needed. I'm just gonna go ahead and make two. I'll make use of it. Uh, the hibachi, maybe I'll use some sort of... Use it to have a cow trap or something like that. Okay, so I need more stone. Quick diversion, here we go. So that adventure into the nether was faster than anticipated and a little less fruitful than hope, hoped. But I didn't die. So really, who's the winner here? It's 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 me. I'm the winner. In case you needed someone to tell you. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna let me melt down all of that iron stuff that I don't need. And I keep thinking that one spot is a uh, the entrance to this, and it's not. Boop. I'm just going to keep making this. Like I was saying the last time I was doing this, I don't know if there's an, a more efficient way. There probably is, but this is a way I know that works. So I'm just going to keep doing it. The best way eventually will be to set up something with that lava that I have in the base. And I plan to do that sooner rather than later, just not right this instant, since that'll... Ah, shoot. Mess that up. Okay, so I need six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should do it. Just gotta go down the line and not mess up. There we go. That's the ding we wanna hear. And I suppose I have to chop these up too, don't I? There we go. Oop. 
And really, I would just like to thank the MVP of this system here. That MVP being the non-looted jungle temple that I found quite some time ago. Getting those sticky pistons in there was just fantastic. And the levers and the redstone. I think that's about all I've used. Okay, that'll do for now. So here we go, heading on up here. We're gonna make our, gonna make my one hibachi. Oops. I keep doing that on accident. Go get some food for the pooch. Because I assume at this point, the pooch is ready to eat. I think that's a fair assumption to make. Stole the seed again. Here you go, pooch. Have a pork chop. Pooch is not hungry. What the deuce? Has pooch pooped? Pooch has pooped five times. Wow. Why are you not hungry? Apparently I've been feeding you and not collecting it. Well, whatever, I guess. So what I'm going to do... Ooh, that's something I forgot about, is the millstone is now in base range, so grinding netherrack's going to be a pain in the batootie. I might have to set up another one somewhere out of range. So, let's see here. I kind of want to make both of the hibachis at the same time. Maybe that's a... Maybe that's too ambitious. I don't care. Nah, I won't bother making them at the same time. You little chicken are going to get slaughtered. So we'll just make this one right meow. Right meow. I need redstone of the singular variety. Get that elements. Get the hellfire. And err, boom shakalaka. Here is our perma fire. That we are going to rock them, sock them robots with right now. Look at that. All I have to do is turn it on, and that is a kiln awesome so awesome but actually what I need is uh, a turntable so I can make some pottery because I neglected to remember that I needed that right away so I have a couple options here one I could dig out this area so that the I guess I don't really need to dig out the area do I I can just deconstruct this temporarily yeah that's fine and then, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go make uh, one, two. I'm going to make a couple clay blocks. What does it take? How many does it take? All nine? Good grief. That's a lot. Well, let's see. I need a cauldron. Do I need an urn? The urn would be good if I was making anything else. I'll need it eventually, I guess. I can make a planter or two. Jeez, making stuff out of clay is so different now. So much more taxing with the number of resources it takes. Well, let's go ahead and turn the whole system on. Hopefully not kill ourselves with anything. And let's go ahead and get this going. Yeah, nice and slow. Not intentional, but it's slow because of the let's just turn sound down for a minute it's slow because the timer for the um, bellows needs to be that slow all right there's that and then I suppose we can make a planter I guess the planters aren't super necessary right now but they are useful it's just gonna take a bit you know what I could do is this crazy thing <laughs> and speed it up. Dummy. Alright, there's a planter just so we have one. The vases are just decorative as far as I recall, so I don't think there's much point in having multiples. I am going to, however, have two cauldrons. Actually, maybe three. Why not, right? Have the resources. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, so set that back to slow. Set that back on there. Set a torch on there. And wait for it to turn. Oh, is it activating itself? That's actually fine. That means I don't have to waste one. Alright, so here is a stoked fire. Let's start with a cauldron. Oh yeah. We're gonna go to the next stage, everybody! Yeah! Oh my god! I'm I'm half exaggerating and half am also excited. Because being able to renew these diamond tools is going to be amazing. Oh, and I... Ooh. I can maybe make stone. Which would be really, really good. Make stone. While that's cooking, I'm just gonna go grab some hemp. Well, hemp and... Uh, harvest up the plants. Since we're gonna need as much wheat as possible. I guess I'm not pushing it nearly as much as I don't have to push it as hard anymore since the big need to breed the cows is done for now. But it is good to just have stock of this food source if I ever get some sort of automated feeding system going. Which, now that I have, with mechanical power, I could. Could make an auto-feeding system. Though, really, my next personal goal is to make this housing situation much better. The organization of the base right now is atrocious. And non-existent. You know, it's just cobbled together, built up as I needed the space and such. So, I want to go ahead and get that in a state that will allow me to actually move around without being afraid of catching a seed from... Oh no! Oh no, it caught a fire. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, but that's a bummer. Nothing else caught on fire, did it? No, that's still stoked. Okay, well that sucks, but life goes on. Alright, can I set that right there and have it be operational? That is my question. I just need to grab, say, a diamond pickaxe that's dead and toss it in there and that will answer our question. Okay, so it's probably because it's not exposed, right? flame is blocked off. That would make the most amount of sense. So if I just go in there and now do it? No. What's wrong here? Well, let's turn it off. Oh, you know what else I should do is replace this with a button. I have that other button. I also have a crap ton of stuff in my inventory right now. Way too much. Way too much stuff in the inventory. Just can't do anything with all this in my inventory. So let's go ahead and sort a bunch of it. Hemp seeds. I have so many hemp seeds right now. It is both excellent and terrible. Okay, so here's that button. And then I can go down here, and instead of having that, I can have a lever, or not. I can have a lever. So, do I need it to be over there then, to work? Or do I absolutely need that second hibachi? I was kind of hoping to not need the hibachi. But I suppose. Oh yeah, I need that. I need that going. Okay. Well, tell you what. 
I'm going to turn the system back on so we can cook that planter. Not that the, we really need the planter, but it's useful. Oh yeah, shoot. I did that. I did that. Okay, sorry everybody. That's totally my fault. Turn the fire back on. Why are you complaining? Didn't I give you food? He's whining like he's hungry. Guess I should feed him. Pork chop might not be the best thing to choose, but I have a good source of pork chops and beef, so... Okay, there you go. Eat up, little guy. I'm just gonna keep that in there. I guess I'd have to ex move, I think? No, you do have to have it directly underneath, don't you? Yeah, that's why it's not working. Alright, then, then this absolutely needs to get ground up. And I'm going to throw that in there and then run away. Because that's what you should do, right? Throw it in, run away. That sort of thing. Uh, let's see. Lever, lever, lever. I'll need shaft, probably stone, and redstone. So I don't want that. Is there a way to use another redstone torch? Probably not. I need the lever here, and I would need it down there. I can just use the torch underneath the hibachi, I guess. Now, do I get nauseous up here? Sure do. Okay. So I need five... Fourteen. I need Fourteen hellfire dust total, so I need... No. I need fourteen more. Okay, so that's just a waiting game. Ooh, that's a zombie with a sword. Hey, zombie with a sword. Would you like to come a little closer over here, perhaps? Come within range so I can get some free iron? Hmm? Hmm? Would you like to? I think you would like to, because here you are. You're coming here. I'm just going to kill you. Slowly but surely. Hey, come on. Come here. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Always a fan of free iron. And free string, because there's a chicken down there. In case I had, had forgotten to say that a time or two. I might have. The string from them is not nearly as crucial anymore, but whatever. So there's that. Got a free sword, which means some free iron. But really all we care about right now is the nether egg being ground up. I really should have calculated that. Known that I needed two. Oh, so that means to get these other crucibles online, I will need more hibachis. Which I am in no way, shape, or form ready to do. I'm going to need a lot more. Yep, sorry about that. I'm going to need a lot more blocks to make getting those blazes feasible. But good news is the whole blaze spawner within decent range of the nether portal. Really everything everything in the nether is just looking up. That was so fortunate. Having to spend all that time all the time looking for a fortress would have been killer. And I definitely wouldn't be at the stage that I am now. So let's go ahead and turn this off because it's still grinding, yes, but I think it should probably have more than enough supplies at this point. No! Oh no. Pooch. I thought that might have happened. No, Pooch, no! Oh, the poop. The poop's more precious than the... Oh. Wow. Okay. So, that seems a bit ridiculous to me. That was through solid blocks that all of this lit up. That really sucks. Now I gotta go find another dog. Among all the other difficulties. I guess, luckily, I didn't lose the poop. If we're counting our 
situation here. So I guess I gotta move the dog further away because clearly that other spot was not fit. We'll make it a lower roof. Maybe I'll look into an auto feeding system for the dog or something. Uh, well that's that's really unfortunate. Luckily the wood resources are not too crazy. I have an inventory problem right now. Let's put that back in there. And then there we go. Alright. Okay. So, bright side, I guess, is that this is ready and I don't have to make another hopper. Less bright side, obviously, is that all of that burned up and I lost my dog. Life goes on. I get out of there. Stop it. Where'd that... Uh, right. I never picked it up. Okay. So there's the ground nether egg. Then let's go ahead and get rid of this now. Grab this. Run up here with the small amount of dung I have. Uh, yeah. Put it up here. Okay. Check a lantern. Guess I'll just place this hopper for now. With an axle in it. Grates. Planter, because, you know, why not? Oh, and that chicken was running around. Wonder where he got to. Oh, good thing I didn't run into the saw. That would have been an unfortunate end. To what was a decent episode right until fire happened. Blarg. Larg. Okay, so throw that hellfire dust in there. That'll cook up. We'll have another hibachi, and then I can hook it up to this. And I stole the freaking seed once again. Oh, and again. <laughs> this is just kind of funny now. Okay, so clearly all that wood all the way over there could not be handled. So I guess I'll have to remake this. I'll have to get a new home for the doge. Door right there. Hopefully that's far enough. I don't know. I guess... I don't even know. I would have thought that that would be enough distance. But apparently not. So, I'm clearly misinformed. Oh, and the worst part of this is if I do this whole not two levers system, then I can't turn off the power unless... Does this work? Let's test. Testing is good. Put that there. Don't have any redstone on me. Okay, we're gonna jump back up here. And I guess I sort of wanted to end the episode when I had the hibachi working but really I want to I want to get this recycling going okay that didn't work I didn't th think it would work but I was hopeful I think I need a redstone repeater to shoot the signal into the hibachi and what do you know I have that so if I put the lever on the first hibachi and I'm going to need to have the hibachis up in order to test this. All right, here we go. So let's get that second hibachi because this, this is what's going to get us into the renewable metals era. So here we are, two hibachis. Ah, yeah, the repeater's not going to, not going to quite work. I need to insert the signal like that. Oh, wait. No. No, I need it. I need it. Uh, fine. Stupid. Just gotta expose everything. So I need more redstone. 
Need two redstone and then this might work. Again, not the most efficient way of doing it, but with the cramped quarters that I have unfortunately given to myself. Okay, I really want you working on both, please. There we go. Perfect. And that is ready to go as soon as we stoke it, which is going to happen right then. Go ahead and throw all these seeds back in. I should really just move where I'm stashing the chickens, but right now it's not a concern. Okay, is this is this it? Oh my gosh, this is it! I'm gonna go get all the iron. No, I'm so excited. Granted, I've got a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory that I can't hold on to. Yeah, I really, 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 really need to take care of this. And here's a bunch of spent iron tools that we can use and some minecarts because I'd rather break those down right now. Uh, the dead weight I need for trading, if I recall correctly. The rails I don't think are worth uh, cashing in for iron right now. And there you have it! Diamonds! Renewable iron and everything! Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much iron now. It's so beautiful! Now... For those watching that don't know, for one reason or another, several updates ago, before the beginning of the game update, iron meltdown is not 100% uh, redeemable. So, for example, this iron shovel makes uses one iron ingot. I'm not going to get that iron ingot back. I don't know the order in which these melt down, but I should get partial for each thing. I'm not sure if it breaks it down into nuggets, or if it's just, if you put in three, you get two. If you put in two, you get one. That would kind of suck. But as far as I recall, this should not be 100%. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I, I don't remember what was sitting right there, but there's 12 iron nuggets instead of probably what was two ingots. So what ratio is that? That's six or twelve out of eighteen is six six ninths, so two thirds. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty big hit, but it's not terrible. It could be a lot worse. Either way, here's our diamond ingots, and here's our iron, renewable iron resource. We are freaking golden now. I don't have to worry about my diamond tools running out because I'll just bring them down here to get refreshed. I can start grinding wheat for flour and I can make tasty sandwiches, which is the next level food. Things are looking splendidly. And this, this right here is gonna let me personally completely redo this base because let's be real it's atrocious it is 100% atrocious could be a lot worse I suppose but it definitely could be a lot better I could have an actual house I could have at the very least some semblance of organization to this place I could be using my water sources better granted the water sources don't won't matter too much once I have a bunch of clay and planters but right now that's not the case so Either way, this is very exciting. I'm going to have a decent amount of iron from all of this. And this is going to let me do a large reconstruction, which I think is going to be what I'm going to do next. Um, filming it, I guess I'll do first person. Um, I have contemplated for a while, actually since starting this playthrough, of purchasing a second Minecraft account and then doing the uh, sort of secondary viewer recording shenanigans. But that would be a little more complex than I'm able to do right this instant, I think. So first person deconstruction it's going to be. So what that's going to be is this lava is going to become the center for cobblestone and stone generation. 
So I'm gonna clear it out. Maybe it'll have to be multiple episodes. I don't know, we'll see. It depends on what sort of content I can get. Maybe I should even build a place first before I tear all of this down. Yeah, it might be a good idea. So all of these water sources for now should be devoted to farms, I feel. So that means I should move my main base off of the water, especially since I have the ability to make, say, a wall or some for other form of security measure. Fences, if nothing else. And light. Oh, that should be a thing. I'm going to need a lot more torches, which means I should grind up the coal that I have. Either way, that's that's what uh, the next couple episodes I think are going to be. Are gonna, I'm going to make this base a lot more livable, a lot more roomy, have a storage room and stuff like that. So with that in mind, I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned until next time.